On November 23rd, the Catholic Church remembers Pope St. Clement I, a disciple of the Apostles who inherited the authority of St. Peter in the first century. Few details are known about Clement's life. Tradition suggests that Clement was the son of a Roman named Faustinus and that he joined the church in Rome during its early years through the preaching of St. Peter or St. Paul. Clement was said to have been consecrated by Peter the Apostle and went on to share in the missionary journeys of the Apostles and may even have assisted the first pope in running the church on a local level. Known to have been a leading member of the church in Rome in the late 1st century, Clement assumed the role of Bishop of Rome around the year 90 AD, after the deaths of St. Peter's first two successors. He is considered to be the first apostolic father of the church. One of his most important tasks was to resolve serious problems in the church of Corinth, which St. Paul struggled to discipline. Though not part of the biblical canon, Clement's letter to the Corinthians offers an important look at the role of authority and charity in the early church. The Liber Pontificalis states that Clement wrote two letters. However, the second letter is no longer ascribed to him by many modern scholars. Clement's only extant, uncontested text is a letter to the Christian congregation in Corinth, often called the First Epistle of Clement or One Clement. The history of one Clement clearly and continuously shows Clement as the author of this letter. It is considered the earliest authentic Christian document outside the New Testament. In his letter, Clement calls for repentance and reinstatement of those who have been deposed, in line with the maintenance of order and obedience to church authority. It also offers valuable insight into church ministry at that time and into the history of the Roman Church. It was highly regarded and was read in church at Corinth, along with the scriptures. According to tradition, Clement was imprisoned under Emperor Trajan. During this time he is recorded to have led a ministry among fellow prisoners. Thereafter, he was executed by being tied to an anchor and thrown into the sea. Clement is considered a patron saint of mariners. The anchored cross or mariner's cross is also referred to as Saint Clement's Cross, about the way he was martyred. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.